What is the historical and political context of the Armenian Genocide? The historical and political context of the Armenian Genocide can be traced back to the decline of the Ottoman Empire in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. The Ottoman Empire was a multi-ethnic and multi-religious empire that ruled over a large part of Europe, Asia, and Africa. As the empire began to weaken, tensions grew between its various ethnic and religious groups. Armenians, who were a predominantly Christian minority in the empire, had long been subjected to discrimination and persecution. In the late 19th century, they began to demand greater rights and autonomy. This led to a wave of violence against Armenians, culminating in the Hamidian massacres of 1894-1896, in which an estimated 100,000 to 300,000 Armenians were killed. In 1908, a group of reformists known as the Young Turks seized power in the Ottoman Empire. They promised to modernize the empire and create a more inclusive and democratic society. However, their policies were ultimately characterized by authoritarianism, nationalism, and militarism. During World War I, the Ottoman Empire joined forces with Germany and Austria-Hungary against the Allied powers. Armenians were seen as a potential threat to the empire's security, as they were seen as sympathetic to Russia, an enemy of the Ottomans. In 1915, the Ottoman government ordered the deportation and massacre of Armenians living in the empire. The Armenian Genocide is estimated to have resulted in the deaths of 1.5 million Armenians, as well as the displacement and forced migration of many others. The genocide was marked by mass killings, forced marches, and concentration camps. It is widely considered to be one of the first modern genocides, and is recognized as such by many countries and international organizations. What happened during the genocide and what methods were used? During the Armenian Genocide, which took place from 1915 to 1923, the Ottoman Empire systematically deported and killed an estimated 1.5 million Armenian people. The genocide was carried out through various methods such as mass killings, forced marches, and deportations to concentration camps. Armenians were also subjected to torture, rape, and forced conversion to Islam. The Ottoman government utilized a network of paramilitary groups, including the Special Organization and the Ottoman Gendarmerie to carry out the killings and deportations. Many Armenians died from starvation, disease, and exposure during forced marches and confinement in concentration camps. How many Armenians were killed and why were they killed? The exact number of Armenians killed during the genocide is a subject of debate and estimation, but it is generally accepted that hundreds of thousands to over a million Armenians were killed. They were targeted and killed because of their Armenian identity as the Ottoman Empire considered them a threat to its national security during World War I. The Ottoman government accused the Armenian population of collaborating with Russia and participating in rebellion and unrest, which led to their persecution and extermination. Additionally, Armenians were subjected to forced labor, deportation, and death marches. What are the international reactions to the genocide and why do some countries not recognize it? There has been significant international recognition of the Armenian Genocide, with over 30 countries officially recognizing it as of 2023. However, some countries, including Turkey, do not officially recognize it as a genocide. The reasons for this vary, but in the case of Turkey, the government maintains that the events of 1915 were not a genocide and instead refers to them as the Armenian Question claiming that both Armenians and Turks died during the period due to civil unrest and conflict. Some scholars and historians also dispute the use of the term genocide, either due to differences in definition or due to concerns about the politicization of the term. However, the lack of official recognition by certain countries can also be attributed to political and economic considerations. For example, Turkey has strong diplomatic and economic ties with many countries, and some governments may be reluctant to jeopardize these relationships by recognizing the Armenian Genocide. Additionally, some countries may not want to be seen as interfering in Turkey's internal affairs. Why does the Turkish government still not acknowledge the genocide and what are the political and social consequences of this? The Turkish government has long denied that the events of 1915 to 1917 constituted a genocide, 
and instead refers to it as a tragedy resulting from civil war and external threats during World War I. There are several reasons why the Turkish government does not acknowledge the genocide, including concerns about national identity, fear of legal and financial repercussions, and political pressure from nationalist groups. The denial of the Armenian genocide by the Turkish government has had significant political and social consequences. It has strained Turkey's relations with many countries that have recognized the genocide, and has led to tensions with the Armenian diaspora around the world. The denial has also been criticized for inhibiting reconciliation between Armenia and Turkey, as well as hindering the country's democratization and respect for human rights. Some text goes here what can be done to remember and recognize the Armenian genocide? Some text goes here. There are several things that can be done to remember and recognize the Armenian genocide, including 1. Education One of the most important things that can be done is to educate people about the genocide, its historical context, and its impact. This can be done through academic research, teaching materials, and public awareness campaigns. 2. Commemoration Commemorative events such as memorials, ceremonies, and cultural events can help to keep the memory of the genocide alive and provide opportunities for people to reflect on its significance. 3. International recognition International recognition of the genocide can help to raise awareness about the issue and put pressure on the Turkish government to acknowledge it. Several countries, including France, Germany, and Italy, have officially recognized the genocide. 4. Reparations Providing reparations to the victims and their descendants can be an important step in acknowledging the atrocities committed during the genocide and helping to address the ongoing impact on the Armenian community. 5. Reconciliation Efforts to promote reconciliation between the Armenian and Turkish communities can help to promote understanding and healing. This can include dialogue, cultural exchange programs, and other initiatives that promote mutual understanding and respect. Some text goes here Can justice be served for the Armenian Genocide? Some text goes here. Justice for the Armenian Genocide has been a difficult issue to address due to the lack of acknowledgement and recognition by the Turkish government. However, there have been some efforts to hold accountable those who were responsible for the genocide. In 1920, the Ottoman Empire held a trial for those responsible for the genocide, which resulted in several high-ranking officials being sentenced to death. However, after the Turkish War of Independence, these sentences were not carried out. In recent years, there have been calls for Turkey to acknowledge the genocide and to provide reparations for the Armenian people. Some countries have also recognized the genocide and have called for Turkey to do the same. Additionally, some lawsuits have been filed against the Turkish government and Turkish officials in an effort to hold them accountable for the genocide. While it may be difficult to hold specific individuals accountable for the genocide after so much time has passed, efforts to recognize the genocide and provide reparations can still serve as a form of justice for the Armenian people. Some text goes here are the effects of the Armenian genocide still felt today. Some text goes here. The effects of the Armenian Genocide are still felt today, particularly within the Armenian diaspora community. The genocide led to the displacement and death of a large number of Armenians, and many families were separated or destroyed. The psychological trauma and pain of the genocide have been passed down through generations of Armenians, and the loss of cultural heritage and history has also been significant. The Armenian diaspora community has been affected in various ways with many Armenians having to flee their homes and settle in different countries. The diaspora community has played an important role in keeping the memory of the genocide alive and in advocating for recognition and justice. The Armenian genocide has also had an impact on the relationship between Armenia and Turkey, as well as the broader region. The unresolved issues and lack of recognition have created tensions and hindered efforts towards reconciliation and peacebuilding. Overall, the Armenian Genocide remains a significant event in world history, and its effects continue to be felt today. Some text goes here How does the recognition of the Armenian Genocide affect Turkey-Armenia relations? Some text goes here. 
The recognition of the Armenian genocide is a sensitive issue that has strained Turkey-Armenia relations for many years. Armenia has been pushing for international recognition of the genocide, while Turkey denies that it was a genocide and asserts that the deaths were a result of wartime circumstances. This has led to a difficult diplomatic relationship between the two countries. The lack of recognition of the genocide by Turkey has been a significant obstacle in normalizing relations between the two countries. However, there have been some efforts to improve relations in recent years, including the establishment of diplomatic relations in 1991, the opening of the border in 2009, and the signing of the Zurich Protocols in 2009. However, the protocols were not ratified by either country, and the border remains closed. The issue of the Armenian Genocide remains a sensitive and divisive issue in Turkey-Armenia relations. Until there is a mutually acceptable resolution to the issue, it is likely to continue to be a source of tension between the two countries. Some text goes here What are the different perspectives on the Armenian Genocide and why do debates about it continue? Some text goes here. There are several different perspectives on the Armenian Genocide and debates about it continue due to a range of factors. Some of the different perspectives include 1. The Armenian perspective, Armenians and their supporters believe that the genocide was a deliberate attempt by the Ottoman Empire to eliminate the Armenian people and their culture. 2. The Turkish perspective, the Turkish government and some scholars argue that the events were not a genocide but rather a result of wartime conditions and that the number of What efforts have been made to seek recognition of the Armenian Genocide and what progress has been made? Efforts to seek recognition of the Armenian Genocide have been ongoing for decades. The Armenian government and diaspora have been advocating for the recognition of the genocide by the international community, while Turkey has been denying it. Several countries, including France, Germany, Italy, Russia, Canada, and Argentina, have recognized the Armenian Genocide. However, some countries, including the United States and the United Kingdom, have not officially recognized it, although some individual states or parliaments within these countries have done so. In recent years, there have been increasing calls for recognition of the genocide. In 2019, the United States House of Representatives passed a resolution recognizing the Armenian Genocide which was the first time the U.S. government had done so. In 2021, the United States officially recognized the genocide, which was a significant development. However, there are still countries that refuse to recognize the genocide due to political and economic interests, as well as pressure from Turkey. Despite this, the Armenian government and diaspora continue to push for recognition with the goal of ensuring that the events of the genocide are not forgotten and justice is served. Some text goes here How does the Armenian Genocide compare to other genocides in history? Some text goes here The Armenian Genocide is often compared to other genocides in history, such as the Holocaust, the Rwandan Genocide, and the Cambodian Genocide. While each genocide has its own unique characteristics, there are some similarities between them. Like the Armenian Genocide, 
the Holocaust was a state-sponsored genocide that aimed to systematically exterminate a particular group of people, in this case, Jews. Both genocides involved the use of concentration camps, forced labor, and mass killings. However, the Holocaust was much larger in scale, with an estimated 6 million Jews killed. The Rwandan Genocide, which occurred in 1994, was also a state-sponsored genocide that targeted a particular ethnic group, the Tutsi people. Like the Armenian Genocide, the Rwandan Genocide involved the use of militias and other armed groups to carry out killings. It is estimated that up to 800,000 people were killed in the Rwandan Genocide. The Cambodian Genocide, which occurred in the 1970s under the Khmer Rouge regime, aimed to eliminate anyone perceived as a threat to the regime. Like the Armenian Genocide, the Cambodian Genocide involved forced labor, mass killings, and the targeting of intellectuals and other educated people. It is estimated that up to 2 million people were killed in the Cambodian Genocide. Overall, while each genocide is unique, they share common characteristics such as state sponsorship, systematic extermination of a particular group, and the use of violence and intimidation to achieve their goals. Some text goes here what role did the Ottoman Empire play in the genocide and what was their motivation? Some text goes here. The Ottoman Empire, which was predominantly Muslim, played a key role in the Armenian Genocide. The Ottoman government, under the leadership of the Committee of Union and Progress CUP, or Young Turks, view the Armenian population as a threat to the empire's unity and security. The CUP believed that the Christian Armenian population, which was concentrated in eastern Anatolia, was collaborating with the enemy during World War I and posed a danger to the Ottoman Empire's territorial integrity. The Ottoman government's motivation for the genocide was largely based on nationalism and the desire to establish a homogeneous Turkish state. The Cup believed that the Armenians were a foreign element within the Ottoman Empire and sought to eliminate them to create a Turkish state. Additionally, the Cup saw the Armenians as a potential fifth column for the Russian Empire, which was an enemy of the Ottoman Empire during World War I. The Ottoman government used various methods to carry out the genocide including forced deportation, mass killings, and death marches. Many Armenians were subjected to forced labor, torture, and sexual violence before being killed. The Ottoman government also relied on local paramilitary groups, such as the Special Organization, to carry out the killings. It is estimated that approximately 1.5 million Armenians were killed during the genocide, which began in 1915 and lasted until 1923. The genocide was a significant event in Armenian history and has had a lasting impact on the Armenian diaspora. Some text goes here How did the Armenian genocide impact the demographic makeup of the region? Some text goes here The Armenian genocide had a significant impact on the demographic makeup of the region. The Ottoman Empire's systematic killing and deportation of Armenians resulted in the deaths of an estimated 1.5 million Armenians. As a result, the Armenian population in the Ottoman Empire and surrounding regions was drastically reduced. The genocide also resulted in the displacement of many survivors who fled to neighboring countries or to other parts of the world as refugees. The genocide also had an impact on the cultural and social fabric of the region. The loss of such a large portion of the Armenian population resulted in a significant cultural void. Many Armenian cultural and religious sites were destroyed and the Armenian language was suppressed. The destruction of these cultural and religious sites also had a significant impact on the history of the region. Some text goes here or what is the significance of the date April 24 in relation to the Armenian Genocide? Some text goes here. April 24 is significant in relation to the Armenian Genocide as it marks the beginning of the Genocide. On this day in 1915, hundreds of Armenian intellectuals, political leaders, writers, and professionals were rounded up and arrested in Constantinople, now Istanbul, by Ottoman authorities. They were subsequently deported and killed, which marked the beginning of the systematic extermination of the Armenian population by the Ottoman Empire. Today, April 24 is commemorated by Armenians around the world as Armenian Genocide Remembrance Day. Some text goes here how has the Armenian Genocide been represented in literature, film, 
and other forms of media? Some text goes here. The Armenian Genocide has been represented in various forms of media, including literature, film, and art. Some notable works that depict the genocide include The Forty Days of Musa Dog by Franz Verfel. This novel, published in 1933, tells the story of a group of Armenians who resist deportation and massacre by Turkish forces. Ararat by Anamego Yen this 2002 film follows a film crew making a movie about the Armenian Genocide and explores themes of memory, trauma, and the representation of historical events. The Lark Far by Paolo and Vittorio Taviani This 2007 film, based on a novel by Antonia Arslan, tells the story of an Armenian family living in Turkey during the genocide. The Promise by Terry George this 2016 film follows a love triangle between an Armenian medical student, an American journalist, and an Armenian-born woman raised in Paris, set against the backdrop of the Armenian Genocide. Burning Tigris by Peter Balakian This book, published in 2003, provides a historical account of the genocide and its aftermath, as well as an analysis of the cultural and political factors that allowed it to occur. The Armenian Genocide a Complete History by Raymond Kevorkian, this book, published in 2011, provides a comprehensive account of the genocide, including its historical context, the methods used to carry it out, and the political and social consequences. Overall, these works and others like them have helped to raise awareness about the Armenian Genocide and its impact on Armenian history and culture. They also demonstrate the importance of remembering and acknowledging past atrocities in order to prevent similar events from happening in the future. Some text goes here are what is the current state of relations between Armenia and Turkey in regards to the Armenian Genocide? Some text goes here. Relations between Armenia and Turkey regarding the Armenian Genocide have been strained for decades. Turkey has yet to recognize the events of 1915 as a genocide and instead refers to it as the events of 1915. This has been a major point of contention between the two countries and has prevented diplomatic relations from being fully established. In recent years, there have been some attempts to normalize relations between Armenia and Turkey. In 2009, the two countries signed an agreement to establish diplomatic relations and open their border. However, the agreement was never ratified and the border remains closed. Additionally, in 2015, both countries made public statements acknowledging the 100th anniversary of the events of 1915, but this did not lead to any significant progress in bilateral relations. Overall, the lack of recognition of the genocide by Turkey continues to be a major obstacle in improving relations between the two countries. What can individuals and countries do to prevent future genocides and atrocities from occurring? Preventing future genocides and atrocities is a complex issue that requires action from individuals, communities, and governments. Some actions that can be taken include 1. Education and awareness raising. Educating people about past atrocities and their causes can help prevent similar situations from happening again in the future. This includes educating people about the warning signs of potential atrocities and how to recognize them. 2. Early warning and response. Establishing systems for early warning and response can help prevent or mitigate the impact of potential atrocities. This includes systems for monitoring potential conflicts and identifying areas where violence is likely to occur. 3. Diplomacy and conflict resolution. Diplomacy and conflict resolution can be used to prevent conflicts from escalating into full-scale violence. This includes efforts to resolve disputes through negotiation and mediation, as well as the use of international institutions and legal frameworks to resolve conflicts peacefully. 4. Humanitarian assistance Providing humanitarian assistance to people affected by conflict and violence can help prevent atrocities by addressing the underlying causes of conflict such as poverty and inequality. 5. Accountability and justice, holding those responsible for past atrocities accountable can help prevent future atrocities by sending a message that such actions will not be tolerated. This includes prosecuting perpetrators through international courts or tribunals, 
as well as supporting national efforts to hold perpetrators accountable. 6. Support for Democracy and Human Rights Supporting democracy and human rights can help prevent atrocities by promoting a culture of tolerance and respect for diversity. This includes supporting efforts to strengthen democratic institutions, promote the rule of law, and protect human rights. 7. International Cooperation International cooperation is essential for preventing atrocities, as no single country or organization can address the problem alone. This includes efforts to build partnerships between governments, international organizations, civil society, and other stakeholders to prevent and respond to potential atrocities. Some text goes here How has the denial of the Armenian genocide affected the Armenian people and their relationship with Turkey? Some text goes here. The denial of the Armenian genocide has had a significant impact on the Armenian people and their relationship with Turkey. For the Armenian community, the denial of the genocide is seen as a continuation of the original crime and a lack of acknowledgement of the suffering that was inflicted upon their ancestors. It is also seen as an attempt to erase their history and deny their cultural identity. This has led to a sense of deep anger and resentment among many Armenians. In terms of the relationship between Armenia and Turkey, the denial of the genocide has been a major obstacle to reconciliation. The Armenian government and many Armenians around the world have called for Turkey to acknowledge the genocide as a first step towards healing and establishing normal relations. However, the Turkish government's continued denial of the genocide has prevented any progress from being made. The denial has also had an impact on the broader Turkish-Armenian community. In Turkey, the few remaining Armenians face discrimination and a lack of recognition for their cultural identity. In the Armenian diaspora, many individuals and organizations have called for boycotts of Turkish products and a range of other measures to pressure Turkey into recognizing the genocide. Overall, the denial of the Armenian genocide has had a profound and lasting impact on the Armenian people and their relationship with Turkey.